Welcome back everyone to Wayne's Diecast Cars. We've got a good one today, so stick around. We have a 1972 Chevy K5 Blazer Highlander Edition from Acme in orange. It's a 118 scale. Let that spin around there for a minute so you can check out all sides of the box. We've got opening doors, hood, tailgate, removable top, poseable steering, fully detailed interior, plumbed and wired engine, detailed four wheel drive suspension, rubber tyres, and serialised plate. This is limited to one of 690. Sorry. So here's some pictures of the inside. Uh, we'll see what this uh, see what the number is on this one. It's the bottom, not much there. And top. Let's get this open. On the box, the top, you have the uh, the top, the canopy. Get that off. There we go, that's the top. It's a pretty basic setup. So it's moulded in a couple of pieces by the looks of it. Right, so that's how it comes. I've also got the little cover for the aerial. And then another bit of foam in there. All right, let's check this out. What have we got underneath there? Wow, she's heavy. All right, some more, more packing pieces. I don't have much room because uh, these were the 35 inch tyre that they uh, put on here Take this little bit of foam out if I can, it seems to be stuck to the uh, seat there a little bit Okay, well that's out. Uh, is that? Oh, no, that's that'd be why. That'd be because of the um, glove box in this opens up. Oops, gotta be careful of that aerial. Is all these highly detailed um, models can get a little bit difficult sometimes with. Uh, Trying not to uh, damage things with uh, big clumsy fingers like mine. Come off, please. Okay. Now, 
Let's get this turntable on for you. Turn that around a bit, we'll zoom in a bit. There we go, so we better keep all these packing pieces. Whenever I've got to move and always handy to keep the boxes on it's a pain in the bum to uh, store everything but when you've got to move house and then pack everything up it's uh, definitely handy to have all the boxes so everything can be wrapped uh, back up because you know to try and wrap this little aerial in you know say pack and foam or uh, bubble wrap or something like that it's just gonna break so to put it back in its original packaging and pack it up move and then sort it out again which is what I've had to do a fair few times with my collection anyway let's look at this this is Awesome. As I've always got the 35-inch uh, tyres on it, the uh, all trains. I think they were like a uh, BF Goodridge, I think, yep. So awesome details. Um, bonnet. Wow, nice. Just let that spin around and then we'll have a look a bit more at some of the details because there's plenty on this. I love the fact that they've got uh, real hinges on the uh, bonnet, tailgate, sort of even doors open as they should, which is just excellent. Let me look at the top on. That's, I think that's about it for that. It may clip down a bit further. Actually, yeah, I think it would. It does clip down a bit further. do that in a minute but it does clip down it's a little bit better but it can still go down a bit further I think be good if they had made this lift up yeah so we're still a little bit off here I'll have a look at that in a minute you can see the details a bit better with that off anyway. So I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to have a little bit of a look. Get some of those engine details in there. So that would be the... Um, Either washer bottle or um, radiator overflow. I think it might be. Well, I don't have another radiator hose going to it. So it might be uh, windscreen wiper, washer, real hinges. You can see there we've got, got real hinges on it. The mast cylinder. Booster, usually air cleaner, and the 350. Little alternator, a radiator hose. Got obviously uh, heater hoses going to the heater box. Little carb under there, battery, and radiator shroud.
That is awesome. But yeah, love those hinges. It's actually the first car I've had with actual hinges on it, real hinges. Look at the way they work. Beautiful. Very smooth. Very smooth. They've even got uh, springs on them. Come in here. Bit more of the radiator. A bit more of the radiator. Uh, motor, but yeah, you've got bottom radiator hose. Well, it definitely put plenty of details in this one. And clothes are so good. And we've got the doors. We got written on the top of the door there. Where's me? Let me magnifying glass. All right, CST on the top of the door there. That opens so nice. And then down here, we've got the other part of the the belt. Down there, and the top part, which, yep, that's, that one's fixed. This one here is, where is that one there's fixed there. Might have been because of that uh, foam they had. It's just planted itself in there. And up here, we've got the uh, lock, the push and pull, got a door handle. Door. We've got the window winder and the opener for the door itself. Down there we've got the little scuff panel, which is actual. I'm not sure if that's. I think it's. I think it's plastic. And in here, this uh, glove box. Does open up. It was open before. <laughs> Being a little, a little difficult. Oh, here we go. Got to be careful with those little parts. Club box is not very deep, but it opens. And on the glove box, I think we've got Chevrolet CST, CST, which was the same as on the door. Controls, high and low, transfer case shifter, gear stick. You can see the uh, vent down there. We've got the three, three pedals, and the uh, the, hand, the foot well, foot brake, the handbrake over here, but yeah, foot brake. Detailed steering wheel, dash. Or the cluster. Visors don't move. Seats seats move. So you can get in. Ah, just the passenger one. But that's still a pretty cool feature. I know on some other models, glove boxes and things have opened. Yeah, you can see all the uh, seatbelt detail. Close that. Oh, 
it closes so good. Oh, nice. It's all uh, carpeted, front back. Nice white seats. Tailgate, again, with the uh, real hinges on it. So that closes real smooth. Tail lights, brake, reverse. And on the number plate, we've got a Highlander, Chevrolet, the chrome bumpers. On the driver's side, you've got the uh, fuel filler, the steely rims, the hubcaps. Separate uh, uh, door handle, mirrors. Very nice. Now, let's have a look underneath. Which way do I want to grab that? Up this camera a little. Alrighty, so we've got fuel tank, got leaf springs. Now I don't know. No, it didn't didn't have any uh, any suspension travel uh, or movement, I should say. So we've got the leaf springs. We've got some lift blocks in there. Your diff housing, which I'm not sure what uh, what housing they had in these. Whether it was a Dana 60 or or what they had. Um, so this one's number 122. I seem to be pretty good at getting reasonably no low numbered cars. So the transfer case would be MP205 by the looks of it. Auto, don't know what auto they used in these. It's not, uh, definitely not a car that we we get here in Australia at all like you might find a couple but that's it in the whole of Australia um, wheels turn they do turn smooth but not a lot just because of the uh, clearance they've got up here because they didn't uh, like cast this for the 35s so, so the steering dampener moves when you turn the wheels. Got full detail under here. You can see the oil filter, drive belts. Gearbox. Well, this was a manual, so I don't know what there. Um, I think I said auto before, but... Yeah, so this is a manual. So again, I don't know what manual they used in them. But that's... That's real nice. Good details. Rolls good. So I got the top on there. Fits on. Just got to sort of squeeze it down a little bit. I'll turn that back on and let that spin around a few more times. Yeah, I've been uh, sort of looking at that paintwork. I can't see any any defects in the paint. Everything with all the details, all the trim, uh, everything just looks spot on. That sticker's a little, where it is, 
little fragile just on that edge I just noticed that then so I must have knocked it very nice model very nice I don't normally like orange, but uh, this looks fantastic with the uh, with the white. Really nice. So uh, we'll see how many more they bring out with the larger tyres, the 35s as they, they call it. I think normally it's uh, obviously like a 31 inch tyre I think these um, blazers had come out with. Very nice, very happy with it. So if you see one and you're thinking about getting one, I would definitely get one. For those blazer lovers out there. I just like the fact of how, you know, easy when you can get to it. When my fingers cooperate with what my brain's trying to tell them to do. How easy everything opens with those real hinges. So much better than, than any other hinges they've got. The doors are just perfect. Doors and tailgate, bit hard to get the tailgate down with the uh, the top on. It's going to look fantastic in the uh, display cabinet. Smooth as butter. Just what you want. Okay, you want to see more of uh, my channel? Check out my other videos. And until the next video, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Alright, we'll catch us all later.